Hello again. Today I'm going to talk to you about positioning of the harp. And um, the harp leans on your right shoulder and you make the harp fit round you because you don't want to hurt your back. And um, it's quite easy with a big harp because you sat on a normal stool. And when it's leaning, you want to kind of point it that way a little bit. And the string should be vertical. This is the neck of the harp and that should be well above your shoulder. You actually want it a lot lower than what you think. And it's um, quite difficult when you've got a small harp because it can end up nearly sat on the floor. And um, so you get inventive, you put little legs on it or you make a box. We're going to do a lullaby today. This is called Swigan and it's Welsh. We're just going to do it really simply. And if you place your fourth finger on red C with your right hand and then you want third one up on D, second one up on D and we don't want blue F, the thumb misses blue F out and goes to the next string which is G. Now if you can put the chords in, fine, if you can't, don't worry, I'm going to put the chords in. But listen to the tune first. So. <laughs> first part of the tune and you can hear it's quite simple and if you put the words in I can't sing it in Welsh but it's hush my baby and that's coming up from C then the next line is sleep my baby it starts third finger on D down to C second finger on E back to D then it's just like the first line again And then it's got a little bit in between. Starts on D to E, back to third finger on D, then the whole tune starts again. Then the second line starts on D, third finger, down to C, E, D, then the first line again, and then the ending. Starts on D, third finger, D. E, C. Now if we start putting a C chord in, now I know this is really difficult and some of you might not have big harps, so fit as much of the chord as you can in. If you place the chord, fourth finger on C, miss a string, miss a string, miss two, but the right hand's also using that C note, just miss the top off or you've got a choice. The left hand can play that first note within its chord. And if you can't do the Aeolian chord right at first, just play everything all together. Do the best you can. Just like that. So, I'll miss the top off. So we've got C chord with the C note, the first line. Now that formula of chords will work anywhere. So if you move your fourth finger up to the D note, Fourth finger, miss a string. Third finger, miss a string. Second finger, miss two. You've got the D chord. It's actually a D minor chord. But the tune starts on that D as well. So you have another choice if you've got a small harp. If you've a big harp, go down. If you've a small harp, the left hand can do that first note of the tune or you can miss the top off. We're back to the first line again with the C chord. Now this is a little bit in the middle. We're going to play D with the D chord again. C chord back to the first line. D with D. C with C. Now if you feel really adventurous, the tune ends D, E, C. We can put a chord on every single note. With the D note, we can do an F chord. Same formula, fourth miss a string, third miss a string, second miss two. F chord with the D. 
and we move one up to E in the tune and we move one up to the G chord in the left hand and then we end on C with C. We can make it a little bit nicer by adding different chords. We can go to A minor chord. G chord. A minor. G at the end here. Thank you for listening.